Hi, Terence here and today we'll go through camera navigation on Tinkercad. Let's get started. I've logged in and created a new design on Tinkercad. I'm going to drag a few shapes on the work plane for reference and we're going to start by learning how to rotate our camera around objects to look at our design from all angles. To do this, we will right click and hold anywhere on the work plane and we're going to use our mouse to rotate the camera in the direction that we want. You will also notice a cube at the top left corner of your screen. Left clicking on the surface will rotate the camera to the corresponding side of the work plane. You can left click and hold onto the cube while moving your mouse to rotate different views. If you ever want to go back to the original default view, you can click on the home view button located below the view cube. This will automatically move the camera to the original view no matter what view you are on. You can also pan our camera by clicking and holding the scroll wheel button while moving your mouse. If we want to zoom in or out, we can simply use the mouse wheel. Scroll forward to zoom in, scroll backwards to zoom out. You can also zoom in and out by clicking on the plus and minus button on the sidebar to the left. Above the zoom in button to the left, there is another button called fit all in view. This button allows you to zoom in on the selected object or objects and placing them directly into the field of view. The keyboard shortcut for this tool is the F key. Currently, we are in the perspective view. This view allows us to perceive objects in the natural world. Objects will look smaller as they are further away from our view. If we want to compare sizes of objects, it would be difficult to do this accurately with the perspective view. Let's take these two squares as an example. The square that is farther away from us looks smaller. By turning on the orthographic view located at the bottom of the navigational buttons, we can then see that both squares are the same size. The orthographic view is a representation of a 3D object with several 2D views of the object. This is similar to what an architect or engineer would use to provide a manufacturer with an accurate, measured drawing for production. If you have any questions, then please feel free to comment down below. That's all from me today, and I'll see you in the next video.